Fox Carolina Weather. Weather rate certified most accurate local forecast. Well, we've seen a good number of clouds today, a little bit of a breeze, all from a low pressure off the coast and also from an approaching system. So our beautiful, tranquil weather is going to come to an end here pretty soon, but we don't have any rain really coming down from these clouds. You may get a sprinkle later on tonight, uh, but overall it's looking mostly dry, at least through most of tomorrow. Then Thursday, things will really begin to change. You can see a little bit of light shower activity out to our west, but otherwise just seeing a few clouds moving through. We've got that low spinning off the coast, and then we've got a system out to the west. This is really going to fade out and push to the southeast, all this heavy rain anyway. So we're not going to see any of that, but we'll see another round of showers and storms develop, and that one could pose a severe threat, and we'll talk about that in a second. It's 52, or tonight will be 52 across the upstate. Cloudy and cool, but mostly dry. Not too chilly in the mountains, 49 degrees expected. And during the day tomorrow, nice and mild, and we're going to have just a slight change of rain through the day, so we want to have the rain gear with you, uh, but any rain you see would be fairly light. The bigger event when it comes to rain would arrive on Thursday. So on the Carolina Sky Meter, we're going to give it a passing grade with comfortable temperatures, uh, but the fact that we will have the increased clouds and that chance for rain, it won't get the best grade. But as we go into Thursday, that's when a big severe weather threat is going to develop across the southeast. The biggest will be across the areas that were so hard hit last week, and then that threat's going to really go down as it comes into our area on Thursday night. But we're still clipped by that low end threat for severe weather. It's called a marginal risk, meaning that isolated strong storms are possible. So notice on Wednesday, just very scattered light rain. Thursday is when the rain's going to really start to ramp up. There are those storms out to our west, moving our direction into the late night hours. But notice it fizzles a bit as it gets here. But we'll still have some lingering shower activity Friday morning. May even hear a rumble of thunder early Friday as this front passes through. And then we should get a break from the rain Friday night into the day on Saturday. So just to kind of recap, Late Thursday into early Friday, that's when we'll have the best chance for our next round of storms. There's a low end severe threat. Just want to stay weather aware, but certainly not an overly concerning situation right now. Damaging wind and isolated tornado can't be ruled out, but the much greater threat is going to be out to our west. So here's a look at your next seven days. Unfortunately, there is a chance of rain every single day, but I do think we'll get at least a break into late Friday into most of the day on Saturday, but Saturday night into Sunday and Another wave of rain will move through and we're going to be working to time that out for you as we get a bit closer because a lot of you have activities planned, things you want to do outside and the temperatures will be great, but could end up with some rumbles of thunder on Sunday, just depending on the timing of that wave of rain that moves through. And then next week, small rain chances, but looking a bit more promising for some nicer weather into the week before Easter. We'll talk much more about your forecast coming up. Of course, you can always head to foxcarolina.com for your interactive radar anytime, as well as the hour-by-hour -hour outlook.